everybody. Welcome to Good Groceries with Tiffany. Today we're making potato corn chowder. Let's get our groceries. We've got potatoes. We need potatoes. It's potato corn chowder. We're going to chop it up into a medium dice. Not too small, not too big, but you don't have to be fussy because the potatoes are going to cook and kind of fall apart. Add them to your pot and fill the pot with water. You don't want a whole bunch of water just till it comes to the top of the potatoes. All right, put that on the stove. We now have some shallots here that we are going to dice. Add that to your pot. Shallots are so good, guys. You don't sleep on shallots, they're so good. If you have a regular onion, by all means use it. I'm adding some salt to the pot now, salt to taste, whatever you like. I'm adding pepper, lots of pepper because my family loves lots of pepper. Now I'm going to add some garlic powder. If you have fresh garlic, I recommend that you dice it and add it to the pot when the potatoes are boiling. I'm adding about three tablespoons of garlic powder. Now I have some chicken bouillon. I'm adding about three tablespoons of chicken bouillon. Again, this is to your taste. Now, here's my done bacon. I put it in the oven while the soup is boiling and let it get all nice and crisp. And I chopped it because it's a topping. All right, here we are, sticking a fork in our potatoes to see how done they are. And these are falling apart, which is what you want. You do not want an al dente potato, all right? Now I have a whole bag of frozen corn. I have a white and golden corn bag mix. If you have plain regular corn, it doesn't matter, whatever you have. Now I'm adding one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Yes, heavy whipping cream. This is chowder, people, chowder. Heavy whipping cream. Now turn your stove off once you add the cream and give it a stir and the soup is pretty much, it's done. It is all done, look at that. Now you wanna make sure you turn the pot off because if you keep boiling it, your cream will break and then you won't have a nice creamy silky soup. And I put it in a bowl, I topped it with some cheddar cheese, the bacon crumbles and some green onion and we're done. Hey, 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 hope you make this recipe and enjoy.